Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Red Code. In your previous video, we have learned like how to run our test script in sequential as well as in parallel. Today, we are going to learn how to stop our test suite on a failure. So we have a very interesting question in our Gitter, Gitter uh, forum. So one person, Shahil Saik asked like, uh, what if I want to uh, fail a test case? That means, uh, of course, there are few options available in just like uh, test dot only or test dot skip but that will be like in the compile time okay but in the runtime if we have like multiple tests and based on one test uh, result we want to fail others okay so that is the questions we have here and uh, unfortunately we do not have any direct uh, solution for that but in just we have a different option okay so we cannot stop our execution on test failure but if there is a suite level that is described blocks getting failed probably we can stop other described blocks to fail as well okay so we are going to see that uh, what is the scenario is to be precise like if you know test ng we have functions like uh, attributes like depends on method or depends on group right so if the method or the particular group is getting failed the dependent method will get skipped okay so that is how it works in the test ng but unfortunately in javascript any of the unit testing framework as i know like in jasmine or the just we do not have such kind of options okay in jasmine of course we cannot do that even if if you try with uh, if condition that will also not work okay but in just uh, i cannot say it is going to work but partially we can do that okay so let me give you example for that so here we have our uh, page object model test cases. So we have like two tests. Here is one test and here is another test. And if I run this, of course, we know that it is going to pass. Okay. So we know that when we uh, load our website, that is uh, let go dot in. So we are expecting as soon as we load this page, we are expecting the URL to be let go dot in. Right. But I'm going to make this let go dot so that it will get fail okay so here we can see that this test is going to fail if this test is going to fail whether this test will run or not that is what we are going to find out now okay other than that we do not have anything we have just a before all and a described block with a test suite name as tc001 and in the config file I have specified only that particular file because I don't want to run other files. Okay. Now let's bring up our terminal and I'm going to run this now. So we are expecting one test to fail. If one test within the described blocks fails, we are going to check out what will happen to the other test. It should run actually. So both are independent. So it will obviously it will run. Okay. We'll generate the report and we'll also check that. So here you can see the test two is actually running. Okay. So if you see the report, totally we have one test suite and that got failed because it has a one failed test within the suites. Okay. Now, just in case if you're interested to see the interested to see the output, uh, we can generate the Allure result. For that, we have to bring up our command prompt and we have to say like Allure serve, right? But instead of that, I can just uh, create a bat file here, like report.bat. And within the bat file, I can say like Allure serve. Okay. So then I can just go to the particular folder and I can run the bat file that will generate the report for me. Just a quick handy tip. Okay. Okay. So here we can see that we have like two tests. Uh, one is the ID with 101, and here we have like a failure. So we expected dot com but we received dot in so of course there is a failure and the result is unknown okay since there is a failure the result is unknown now and here we have the login again which passed with the current correct credential so that is why we we can see somehow like the welcome toast notification is there okay okay fine so we understood that uh, all the tests are independent that means one test is not going to affect the another test but if one test suite itself getting failed i want to fail the other one okay let me show you that so here i'm going to just uh, make this as star that means the number of files i have within the folder is going to run okay so just a, like your small regular expression okay so star dot test dot ts so within the folder how many test cases i have everything is going to run okay 
but here my file name is only tc002 um, so I can either change like tc00 dot test dot ts okay or I can just give like start dot ts that is also fine but as per the naming convention I am going to make it like tc00 dot test dot ts okay so that that is what we have used here as our regular expression so start dot test dot ts okay now let's bring up our terminal and I am going to run this again let's see so it will run one by one because we have the flag i in our package.json as we discussed in our previous video. So this is the first test tc001 uh, that is running. Once that guy is completed, another test case is running with uh, tc002. Okay. So we are able to understand that irrespective of failure, each and every described block is independent and it's going to execute for sure. Okay. So here we can see like uh, one test suite failed the first one and one test suite passed total we have two and one test failure and two passed and three total. If you are interested on the uh, reports probably we can generate and check that as well. Okay. Okay. So here you can see that we have like TC001 and TC0. So irrespective of the conditions of the described block it is executing but just in case I don't want any described block to execute if one described is going to get failed. So for that we have a very good option in just we can do it out of the box we really don't have to write any uh, kind of listeners or conditions okay. So here first of all we have to say like bail, bail uh, that's going to be true and after that I'm going to say like number of um, times okay. For example if one test block fails I will skip or I will uh do not i will not run any other described block similarly you can give it okay so just in case if you want to see the documentation here here we have so dash dash bail the naming convention in just are really bad i cannot say bad a lot of people using this but i personally feel it's not that great okay so when i was checking this bail i don't have any idea and then once i read the description probably i got some idea okay so it says like exit the test suite immediately upon n number of uh, failing test suite okay so let me run and show this one so previously we know that uh, two totals and three total right um, now let's go and run this so this time we can see only one uh, test suite not the two test suite okay So one browser launch that means the TC001 is actually running here. Okay, so here you can see that uh, we have like only one failed and we have totally two test suite but only one failed and one is unknown. Okay, so that means uh, the second one actually didn't execute it. Okay, so let's see the report. I'm going to generate the bat file. Okay, so here we go. So we have only TC001 because this guy got failure. We do not, the TC00 is not considered as a test suite at all. Okay, so that is the use of bail. Uh, if I pronounced it properly, I think it's bail. Okay, okay, so that's it. Uh, so what is the takeaway? If we have multiple test suite and based on one suite, we want to fail other suite, probably we can do that with the help of bail, where we have to set this as true and then we have to set the number of tests to be failed okay so if i give like two that means when the whenever there is a two test failure the other described blocks will get skipped okay and um, unfortunately we do not have any direct way to control the test blocks failure okay so that's it okay so that's it from my side if you have any further queries please do let me know in the comments or in our gitter gitter forum okay so as usual thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon uh, uh, uh.